Welcome back, everybody. Would you like to know how petty I am? Yes, I am this petty. I reloaded my save file so I could fight Rod again. I was that upset about it. And you know what? I beat him the second time. And you know what else? The scene we got was much more interesting <laughs> than what you get if you beat him. If you beat him, he pretty much just says like, Oh, wow, you're strong. I guess I'll take you to the lake ruins. And you don't see like the Mira or find out about like uh, eating food or any of that. And so you guys got the better experience and I got my revenge. Now let's move on to the, to the end of the game. Let's see what we got. All right. So the last episode, we got everything ready and we are now ready to go to the lake ruins. So let's go and talk to Klaus and tell him that we are good to go. We got a boat, buddy. Yep, 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 yep. Go to the lake ruins. Good, I hope everything goes well. I'll stay here and wait for the good news. I won't go on the exciting archeological trip. I'll stay here and wait. Good timing. My baby's ready to go. Wow, I know. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, oh, what, what is it? Is it a boat? <laughs> it's weird looking. This is it, the love of my life. It's a giant lobster, a robot lobster. The Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. The greatest ride in the world. Nothing can top this baby's speed. Where did you get this? I can't tell you that. It's top secret. Wow, this is so cool. Roo, we get to ride in this thing. Yeah. All right, I love boat rides. I've decided this. <laughs> it's not a boat. Don't ever call my baby a boat. It's a crawfish. It's the Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. Roo, come on, let's get on the boat. Damn it, what is he, deaf? Okay, get in. Get him the Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. That's so cool. What is this noise? It's the Sorceress Driver. It's some kind of ancient magic device, and it's, it creates wind flow for my hat and my hair, even when the ship is not moving. It's very important. There are five cannon orbs that juice up the driver to thrust my baby. It's the sweetest sound in the world. We're at maximum power. Okay, you boys ready? Go. Three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes! There goes the Pulsar Inferno! Typhoon Omega! And there's Mint. <laughs> they think they can leave me out? Guess again. Meanwhile, the other party is here. <laughs> Ooh, look how fast we're going! So, oh no, what's what's happening to him? What's happening to Primadol? Wow, it's so fast, it's making me convulse! I'm convulsing horribly! Whoa, I nearly lost my hat. This baby's dynamite, so hold on tight! Go, baby, go! Pulsar Inferno Tech- Ow! I bit my tongue. Oh. <laughs> my baby is so intense you can't even say her name! Alright, listen. Pulsar Inferno Type- ah! Ah! Rod, you okay? I'm fine. Hey, you bit your tongue too. <laughs> hey, Rue, well, where's this channel that leads to the lake? It should be coming up soon. Okay, time to speed up now that we have to turn sharply into a small channel. Let's go faster! <laughs> Whoosh! How far away were we? <laughs> Alright, so it's easier to walk there than it is to take a boat there. Hey, we're here. Awesome. We'll be alright from here. Thanks for the ride, Rod. <laughs> no prob. I'll come back to pick you guys up before lights out. Bye, Rod. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know my game. Later, boy. Off I go. In my Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. Rue! Whatever it is you up to, just do it all the way, alright? With heart! Oh, what a cool guy Rod is. What a cool dog he has. <sighs> okay, Prima Doll. Let's go get the relic. Okay, time to show you my true power. His voice just keeps changing, but that's fine.
Oh! That one's kind of cool. Looks kind of like a boat. Claire, this is it. Finally, I can get you back. This will teach me necromancy. <laughs> What's wrong, Rue? Come on, let's go. Oh, he kind of... I, I, I kind of gave him the same voice that I gave Metal Gear. That's why I know that voice. I just kind of slipped into it without thinking. This is weird. This is my first time here, but... And now he's definitely going to be Metal Gear. And for some reason, it feels so nostalgic. I know exactly what to do here, too. It's amazing. Everything I need to know is coming back so naturally. Thanks to this sweet tiara, and I guess the pendant to my father in the heavenly light, I serve you and only you. I am a robot, but I am Christian. <laughs> you can tell from the cross of my tiara for some reason. <laughs> Sleeper in the endless night. At last, I will fulfill the sacred duty. Arise from the aeon sleep. Come forth. The time is now. Reign unto eternity. S -s Sorry, that was that was some of my middle school poetry. I just started. I it, it, I felt like it was appropriate to just go into it. That's right, Rue. How come you know? I don't know. It just came naturally. That's so weird. Oh well, let's begin. My father in the heavenly light. Whoa! Whoa! I serve you and only stop! None of that right now. No poetry. This is happening. I don't know if this is. Oh! Oh, it's this guy! It's these people. Oh, it's multiple people. It's... it's uh, who... Who are you? Who are you, random characters we haven't seen in a while? Silence. Princess Maya of the East Heaven Kingdom stands before you. East Heaven Kingdom? The Kingdom of Sorcery. Indeed. For the last 700 years, our kingdom has protected this relic. It is our duty to see that this relic does not fall into the wrong hands. That's why I clearly look like a bad guy. It's... It... Uh, I mean... Uh, uh, don't worry about that part. I just wear a mask like this because I'm... Ho uh, horribly ugly. <laughs> and everyone around me insisted I wear it. It's not because I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Only top class magicians are qualified to handle relics. Ordinary men are not prom permitted to handle them. They might bring about world destruction. The most powerful relic created by the Aeon Valen is sealed here. You've come to break the seal now. Be gone immediately. I absolutely forbid it. Rue, that princess is scaring me. You won't let us have the relic? Is that what you're saying? It is forbidden. You must leave at once. No, I will fulfill my selfish goals. I need the relic, no matter what. I've searched for so long and finally found it. I don't care what you say, I'm taking it. Who do you think you are? Do you honestly believe that you can handle the power of the relic? I will. To save Claire, I will. Oh, he's so passionate right now. Very well, you leave me no choice. I'll use the power of my relic and see if you're worthy of Valens. Book of Cosmo. You can't read that. That's not a book. Ugh. Oh, my bags are going crazy. This is the power of a relic. The power of the Book of Cosmos, East Heaven's greatest Aeon relic. Kneel before its power. Ugh. I can't take it. Ugh. It's no use. You must give up or you'll die. Never. Ah, clear. My hat. No, my hat. You exposed my weird hair. What happened? My body's burning. It can't be. He's countering the power of the relic, which the effect is suddenly gone. Also, this scene kind of weirdly frames Dollmaster's head. He just, it kind of looks like he's stuck inside the book. Like she, he's tiny and she closed the book and he's just like, I'm here too. I can also see this. It's really silly looking. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so I guess we're super awesome. Dang, everything's happening so fast. Jeez, it's getting all complicated now. What are we gonna do? Oh, Maya, that snake. Always butting into my affairs. You say something? Don't worry about it. Okay, guys, we have to change our plan. You have another one in mind? Of course, just leave it all to me. Duke, get the hexagon ready. All right. Wait, why are you in charge? Meanwhile, in Weird Hair World... How can this be? He won. He beat the Book of Cosmos by just standing there with weird hair. This light, what's happening to me? Ah, I fell over. <laughs> Watch yourself, Dollmaster. Yes, your highness. Please, rest assured, I won't kill him. I'll just, you know, maim him and cut his hair. Clearly his hair is the source of his power, so I will be his Delilah. It's not over. Yes, it is. I'm going to cut your hair. You still intend to fight. Admirable, but unwise. Gizmo equals Gia equals Gius. To you, born of do, I command. Accept your destiny and seal your powers. I can't move. This is a special spell. Even your powers cannot dispel it. <laughs> I can jump all that distance and now we're going to kidnap this child. <laughs> this child will be ours. We need him for purposes. So this is the prima doll. Quite impressive. It may prove useful. R run, prima! Aha, I have this child. Hey, hey, put me down. The time has come. Prima doll, open the seal to the relic. No. I'll never follow your orders. You're pure evil with your dumb hat. How'd you get out of that book? What? I won't do it. I'd rather... Um, yes? Rue. Thanks, Rue. It was short, but I had a lot of fun. Please don't die. Goodbye. My love. <laughs> the exp oh, oh, he shut down. Oh, he's all dark now. Clearly something happened. Prima. <laughs> oh, I needed a strategy guide. Worthless piece of... Worthless piece of junk. Hmm. Well, you're still glowing over here. Maybe I could throw you. Oh, it's the hexagon! Look how cool it is! It's a deadly polygon. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. Why is my subordinate not doing anything? Mint? Bell? Now time to talk. Bell, get row. Okay. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> Grab. You cannot escape. <laughs> Says who? Oh, snap! Lots of bunches! <laughs> Lots of bunches! You clumsy old bag! You almost got me killed! <laughs> Stop babbling. Let's get out of here. There too many voices in the scene. Lady, help! Stop jerking around! I'm not doing that right now! I got hit! This person uppercutted me! Those who defy my lord must suffer. I don't remember any of their any of their voices. It's been too long. I forgot their voices. I'm giving them new voices. Off we go. Bye. So I guess that's not the end of the game. Oh, meanwhile, she just sort of like, I don't know what happened out, out here. Was that? No, it couldn't have. Your Highness, Your Highness. Uh, yes, what is it? Shall we pursue them? No, that is not our priority. We must secure the relic first. I will use the Book of Cosmos. Yes, Your Highness. I think I gave Dollmaster and Psychomaster basically the same voice.
because I couldn't remember what their voices were. And so that's what the vo that's the voices they got. And now this is happening. Sure. That's normal. Also, why is it in the forest? <laughs> Weren't we in li like a lake? Why was it in the forest? None of this makes sense. And now it's nighttime. Huh. Well, we finally made it. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Mint, can you tell me what's going on? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean about Belle and Duke? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell, tell you about it over dinner. Belle and Duke are waiting, waiting for me at the tavern. I'll go, I'm gonna go ahead, okay? Okay, bye. Alright, so I guess that wasn't the end of the game. Um... Lots of things have happened. Uh, let's, let's go find out. I'll, I'll make this one a little bit long and we'll find out what's, what's going on. Let's go talk to people. Also, Prima Doll's dead. I feel like I shouldn't gloss that over, but yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Prima Doll's gone. I just remember that he was our beloved Metal Gear, and now he's gone. And it's sad. Sup, Roo? I guess you're fine since you can walk. Good for you. Have a seat, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Hmm, where should I start? Hang on. I want to ask Rue something. I saw you fighting at the Lake Ruins. Gotta admit, I was surprised. I didn't think you were that tough. So I'm curious. Why are you fighting so hard? Why are you so set on getting the relic? You want to tell us? We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna impose on you. We want to know your deep, dark secrets. Tell us over drinks. We'll get you drunk first if, it, if we have to. All right, I'll tell you. I have a terrible alcohol tolerance. This is me telling you. I guess. Oh. So I'm gonna get the relic and bl bring Claire back. It's my duty. You, you didn't actually tell us anything. You just said that. Weren't you going to tell us something more significant than that? I'll be damned. That's quite a past you're carrying. You sure are strong, Rue. Man, I'm touched. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that, Mint? Oh, Mint's been doing nothing but trying to double-cross you. What? Really? Yeah. She even made a deal with us. She's backing away. Made a deal with us. She said, if we get back the tiara, she'd share the relic with us. So we gave it back and decided to go along with it. We're laying low. We were laying low until Prima Doll was complete. She's still walking away. As soon as we saw you in the Prima Doll head for the lake ruins, we went after you with the hexagon. You didn't know we were there, <laughs> did you? Look at her. Just, she's like, no, no, you have to believe me. I'm not a terrible person. <laughs> I just want to take over the world, okay? And Rue is still looking straight at her. We were waiting for that doll to break the seal. After the seal was gone, the rest would be easy. We just take the relic and disappear. And that about sums up everything. Mint planned the whole thing. Just crying in the corner. Mint. I just... I wanted the relic real bad. So bad, I just... Double cross everyone. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, you guys should be thanking me. If I hadn't led the way today, you'd probably all be dead. Yeah, right. Don't try to change the subject. We're talking about how you're a terrible person. Get over it. What are we gonna do, milady? That lady Maya is probably guarding the lake ruins. I haven't thought about it yet. Oh, I'm too tired to think. I need some rest. Let's just go. All right. Where are you guys going to sleep? Isn't your hotel hotel bill way through the roof by now? Alright, so now we have... <laughs> with that little extra addendum, we have found out that Maya was... Or Mia... Mia? Mint? Why, I, I completely mixed up her name. We, we found out that Mia was totally going to backstab us. And uh, she's a terrible person. But funny, so it's okay. I am the Moy Chicken. This is Threads of Fate. Thanks for stopping by.